a vlog kind of thing. Today is Monday, 3rd of October and it's around 7ish p.m. and I just decided to start the vlog today. I wanted to cook something. I don't even know if I want to cook yet. I don't know, but I just now want to show some of my cooking videos in this vlog. And yes, guys, let's go to the kitchen right now to go start up some things and I'll be taking you guys along to the kitchen. <laughs> So I'm dressed right now and I'm going to a thrift market. I want to go and get a rope, rope for my Instagram reels 
for my skincare routine care, you know I have to be in the mood. I have to be like a dermatologist, even though I, I do not dam anything. But so that's where I'm going to now. Um, it's a Swanee Market. I'll go get one or two depending on the price. And I need something for my hair too. I don't want to be using this my bonnet. It's giving local vibe. But if I don't get anything, I'll still use it. Anyhow, anyhow. Shall I watch my reels? That's my own. Kasha. I just got back from the market right now and I spent more than two hours just to go and buy something. Okay, so I don't know I don't really know where the where they sell the stuff, so I had to look for it all around. And all the place that I was looking for it from there telling me and eh, they just came to pack twenty. They don't have what they just say they don't have them. Ah then I just came to buy the whole of the twenty I have, the whole of the ten I have. I just look at it like you know the strategy. Show you and you want to tell me that I should come back and that day near because just tell me you don't have, let me go. Anyways, I just wanted to go and buy a rope. I told you guys, just rope. But I came back home with this. So we are going to be having a thrift haul. Thrift haul, yeah, something like that. But these ones are not thrifted. This is what I bought too and <laughs> I was looking for something that did not have all this design design stuff but then I noticed I can actually tear it off so because this is making it look like hello summer like like one primary school game <laughs> so I'll just be ripping the nylon off it's going to have the this color on it so let me even tear it off So this is how it looks. I think this is better. Even for primary school children, this is better. That one is just ah that's for nursery school children, not even primary. So drink close. Don't ask me what I want to use it for. Like it's for drinking water. And I got this too. Water bottle. <laughs> I want to be drinking a lot of water now. This I actually got this for my mom, like immediately I saw it, I wanted it for my mom. And it actually looked very nice on my feet, but I'll still give it to her anyways. It's so cute. I love the detail on the heels, you can see like... I actually think it looks mommy mommyish. But anyways, everybody wears things like this nowadays. I'll show you guys how it looks on my feet. So... And then I got one for myself too. I got this. I love the heels. I think one of the things I, I love the most about those those shoes there were the heels. This is just a very nice, simple slippers, you know. The heels, eh, you can just take it anywhere. This one is not the one that you want to wear heels. I'm be thinking from two days before. It's just so comfortable and I love the color. I don't have anything like this. The color so that's why i got it for myself and then let's move to the main thing that took me to the market that's the rope i got this navy blue one which i love very much like it was the first one i picked then i had to pick between this second one and a pink and i had to pick this one this one has something like this behind that was all that making me think like not taking it because I like to think that I'm a I'm a grown up person. You get? I don't like seeing myself like a child. Anyways, as I was coming back, I decided to branch one small shop. There is not a mall in the shop. And I got this. 
I love this cookie. I think it's cookie, right? It's I know it's oatmeal, but like, I love it so much. And it's been long since I last saw it. Maybe I just saw it, I just said, okay, now let me just try it. This is what they call Akomololi. If you enter inside your mother's room, you carry one. Because this one now, you just put in your mouth at once. It will not be enough for you. Go back again and carry it. They will catch you. So. I have one rat right that I wanted to take it already. But. I love to take this with tea. Mm -mm. I also bought this dishwashing liquid because the one at home is finished. I bought Pomo and I can't find it, but that is everything about this haul, guys. But I don't think I'll be ending it here, but I'm going to be ending it today. Anyways, and yes. So guys, um, I'm going to be trying out this my new mic. I'll be holding it because I don't want any problem of maybe I mistakenly dropped it somewhere. And the problem is this thing is two speakers. I don't know maybe if I keep one, it will have effect. Maybe it will be echoing or something. But for now, until I check out how to use this on YouTube, I'll be using the boat for this video. And I've checked it, it's working, it's recording fine. I've been doing this um, particular vlog for a while now and I just want to end it up with something, reviewing a movie. I want to review this, not really review, just want to talk about the Anikulapo movie. And we all know that Kule Afalaya is really, really doing well. He's always doing well. I'm always looking forward to his movies. I will have a movie from him now. And it's Anikulako. I have some things written down here that I'm going to talk about. The first thing I want to talk about is the cinematography. And it's really, really top-notch. It's of high quality. Their skin colors are there. There is no faded colors anywhere. The angles of shots and the editing is nice. Sweet to watch. It's not like all these things that you'll be watching movie and you'll be angry because it's breaking from one place to another and then um it's also like it's just very smooth and i think nigerian movies are really moving they are going on a great ride these days and let's move to the storyline i think it was nice it was very interesting but then i could predict what was going to happen immediately they showed the um, queen, that's the king's wife, the last wife, Rolake, and then they showed um, Kunle, the main actor. I could predict that that was what was going to happen because, I mean, it's it's Nigerian Yoruba movie. What else is going to happen when they showed the two of them? So I already concluded. And... I don't want to spoil the movie, so I'm not going to talk about the story or anything. But like, I could just relate. I could, I could say what was going to happen next, and it's definitely happened. But all the same, I think there are still some other American movies that you, you can predict from the beginning to. So, especially when it's a storyline or family or a particular person, you know. But it still makes sense. The settings of the... Um, whole shooting i really want to know where they used because you know the indians used to have this particular film um set up film village yes where you go to film which has everything set up then maybe you can use editing to improve some of them but it's nigeria i don't think we have things like that so i really want to know where they used it was very nice setting even though the buildings do not represent yoruba culture like i don't think it's it's giving Yoruba Yoruba vibe. I think it's giving Nupi versus the Aosa vibe, the buildings. But anyways, they are still 
it still looked nice and everything was on point. The actors, let me just talk about the two main actors. I don't want to talk about any other person, just the two main actors. And I think um, Bimbo is a spectacular actress, like God. She took on the, um, the accent, the words, she was pronouncing it well, she was doing everything really fine. I, I really loved the way she did everything. She was into the character. She never for once, okay, she might make mistake, but they, they edited it out. But like, she was into the character and everything. Kunle too was trying. Kunle was really trying. But I noticed there was this particular place. You know, Nigerians are always looking for that one, one mistake. So I noticed the place where he said something like, Wo now. That, that first place where he uh, made the dead come back to life was like, Wo now. And Wo now is like, this century, Yoruba is no, there's nothing like now. That's an English word. So there was a mistake there, and I don't know how the editors and everything did not see that. But yes, he tried a lot, but I will still choose Bimbo. Bimbo is a spectacular actress, and he's also very good. I really, I love their combination, and I heard they are dating in real life. <laughs> I hope so. I'm a shipper. I love to ship any relationship. Well, let's move to nudity. They showed um, Bimbo's boobs in like 0 0.02 seconds, and I totally think it was not necessary. Like, for what? Is it for Eba? Is it for Gary? Is it for Beans? I don't know. I think it's not necessary. It wasn't as if they were having wild sex or anything spectacular. Like, they don't even show us what they are doing. So, why did you? I don't think, I didn't, I don't think it was necessary. And then they showed, they would have just shown um, the actor's bomb the way they, sh they showed it. Like, that would have been okay. I'm not against it be female, but no, I'm not <laughs> doing that for female. But I just think it was not necessary. It was just for, it was just like pew pew. So, like, why did you show us? What do you guys think? Do you guys think it was necessary? Just let me know in the comment section because I've watched a lot of movies where they, show, where they show boobs. It's not a big deal. But that one was not necessary. Totally, totally not necessary. And the last and final thing is the costume and makeup. Their outfits was nice. When the royal care was, was the, the king, it showed royalty. It showed expensive. It showed everything, you know, cute, cute. Everything well. And as they were traveling, another thing we talk about is their time uh, stamp. They talk about few weeks after, like first, first few weeks after, they've been walking, walking, walking without meeting any village for that long. I don't think that's, a, that, that's possible. But anyways, it's a, it's a movie. I think they should have just written 10 days, two weeks, instead of saying few weeks. Because saying few weeks is like, have you guys been working for four weeks and you've not come in contact with any village? And they've complained as if they've not eaten for, since they started walking from where they ran away from. So they did not eat for a few weeks. I'm going to I'm going to close my eye to those ones because there must be mistakes in these movies. And I'm talking about the costume and makeup. Their costume was nice, everything. It showed proper um, attention to details. And then their makeup, the tribal mark, it was superb. It looks super super natural and real. And that is everything about the movie. So now, will I be recommending the movie totally? Yes. I'm going to give the movie 8 over 10. I think it's superb. I think it's well done. I think the storyline is super nice. And yeah, go watch it. It's on Netflix. And you can tell me what you think about it. Comment down in this um, vlog. That will be the end of this vlog, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you had a nice time listening to me and watching me cook. And taking you to the market and back and everything. I hope you guys enjoy it. And subscribe to my channel, like my video, watch my other videos there, please. Uh, if you're a returning subscriber, I really, really appreciate new subscribers. Thank you for subscribing and I will see you in my next video. Bye.